go to rogerhollowayhomes.com. Hey guys, Denise O'Farrell and I are on location at Harrisburg Road, right across from one of the entrances to the brand new Regency at Sugar Creek. It's Sugar Creek everywhere, right, Denise? It's, it's, we've got everything, a little bit of everything for everybody in Sugar Creek. Now, we've got two developments from Taylor Morrison, and you're uh, very much in touch uh, with them. Uh, tell us what we got here. Right now, we are driving through the estates at Sugar Creek. This is going to be a single-family community totaling 130 homes. Wow. Um, it's their Taylor Morrison. It's kind of their mid-sized products. We've got some great floor plans, including a ranch, the Carlisle Ranch plan, starting at 2,400 square feet. goes all the way up to 5,100 square feet if you built it with an upstairs and yeah. a basement. And the Whitmore, too, right? The Whitmore is a very popular ranch and a half floor plan. Well, that's the, that's the Bonterra holdover. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, these are backing up to woods. It looks like these could be basements. I'm not sure if this is phase one. You know, we're really not that far from the mall. From Pineville, uh, it's, Valentine. Oh man, it's, it's exciting. A, it's a fabulous location. And yet we're in South Carolina. What are the advantages of that? Well, we got low South Carolina taxes. And for some people of, of, of a certain age, there's a homestead exemption. So it's your primary home after your first full year. Um, but I mean, just the proximity to so many things. And if you have children, the Indian Land schools are really coming on strong, aren't they're they? They're coming on strong and the school district has some bought some land in the area to add uh, a new middle school and a new elementary school. I'm trying to pull the lot numbers there. That could be 14. It's kind of like taking an eye test. I took one last week and it's like, I think it's a six, but it could be an eight. Well, 79 was just on the other side. On so. To your right. Okay, good. <laughs> so we got a lot of woods, a lot of trees. It's at Sugar Creek. So they're I, I walked down to where the basement lots are, which is probably where we'll end up. Didn't you have a story that you wanted to tell me? I did. I want to let everybody out there know that if you are visiting a model home or talking to a builder online, you have to let them know up front that you would like to work with your with a realtor. And you really should have the name of the realtor. You should have the name of the realtor, exactly. I, I met with some new clients today and they'd arrived into town early yesterday, just wandered into a model home, kind of said, oh, you want to speak to a salesperson, you got to sign this registration card. They didn't have my details. They said, no, we don't have a realtor with us today. That particular builder will not allow them to add a buyer agent to any transaction. So if they want to have a buyer agent, they're going to have to pay for it out of their own pocket. And you know, the truth of the matter is folks, you're paying for it whether or not you use us. And the builders know the numbers, the percentages of people that will come in without a realtor and, and, and won't. And the bottom line is, don't go into a model home until you have secured a realtor. Don't even fill out a form online because that's how they get you. This is 35 we're looking at right here. So they are paying for the agent. It's built into the price of the house through yeah. the marketing budget for the company. Right. And yet the builder won't do it. So in other words, uh, starting today, you are able to put your name down, uh, and really our heart is to help somebody through the many moving parts. There's a good example of they didn't know that very first step, which is to identify uh, a buyer agent. So um, they can put your name down, Denise O'Farrell from Prostead Realty, and then give me a call or, or call Denise. We'll give you Denise's phone number here in just a second. I'm gonna take another round, because there's Harrisburg Road up there. The models are gonna be, we're at, on, Oh, I like the name of that road, Sugar Creek Road. Wow, and Indigo Branch. So there are gonna be some basement homes right here with some beautiful woods in the back. I walked down there to the retaining wall and I just heard some most amazing sounds. It sounded like water, but I just imagine the wildlife is fantastic. Now these are gonna back up to that berm, which is Harrisburg. What, what would you advise a client about that? I would say if you call me in a few years to relist that home, I would be a little bit concerned about buyer's objections to living there, to buying that home for me. Whereas on, on, on the, the opposite, other side, yeah, which backs up to, to homes. So it really gets to be your preference, but Denise, because you're such a great listing agent as well, I like the fact that you uh, think that through and help them. It doesn't mean you wouldn't list it, it doesn't mean you, it wouldn't sell. Somebody may want to back up to no other houses, but yet you've got the road noise, and that's going to concern maybe somebody yeah. down the road. And, and in my experience, people tend to, most people would prefer to not back up to a road like that. Yeah. Some other things you're noticing here, it's hard to tell because the lots aren't really marked that well. 
this community, the home sites are 75 feet wide, wow. which is wider than a lot of these newer communities. So how big does that make the lot? That makes the lots a quarter to a third of an acre for the most part. So a quarter, so 0.25 to 0.33, which is a lot more than we often see, isn't we it? We often see below 0.2, 1.7. So with the corner of Hickory Spring home. and Calico, uh, this is exciting, guys. So now what, what's the time frame on a, a lot release and what do you think price points might be? Price points, we're thinking they're going to, no pricing, official price, uh, official pricing available yet, but talking to the agents, they think they're probably going to be in the certain in the 700s. Oh, I will say this. I'm looking at the sill fence and that is for erosion control. It's required. And I'm looking over that silt fence and I'm seeing some beautiful trees and there's going to be a lovely view here in not too many weeks of our deciduous trees uh, turning to a beautiful color. Those beautiful fall colors. And so the topography here is kind of cool because now as we're coming up here to uh, Baker Creek Road, you see that it kind of curves and it goes down and uh, I just like the way the back of those lots looked. Mm -hmm. So another thing to note, this community won't have any you're, you're not amenities. ignoring me, are you? I'm absolutely. I just I'm said trying, something so profound, and you said, mm -hmm. "Tell the people." <laughs> I'll tell the people. I gotta tell the people. <laughs> They're not gonna have any amenities planned for this community. So good job that the lots are a little bit bigger. If you want to have a pool, nice. Choose one where you got where you got the topography that you can put in your own pool in the backyard. Nice. Oh, this is exciting. Now across the street is that. Toll Brothers, that's Active Adult 55 Plus, age restricted. Uh, that'll be in the next video. But just down the street a hair, these are all Sugar Creek, Sugar Creek. Uh, we, we've got a townhome development. So would you agree with me that maybe those townhomes, do you know the price points? They're, they're maybe for a first time home buyer. They're, they are, and they're going to be in the, the mid to high 400s. So there we got some basement lots right there. You can see they're already carved out for basements. We see on the site map they have a few basement lots woods in the back. Our basements are different than the way you had them maybe back in Indiana where I'm from or Massachusetts where Denise is from. Uh, you're, from you're from you're from you're uh, from you're from Dublin, Massachusetts, right? Dublin via Massachusetts via New Hampshire. Where they have a dugout basement. These are walkout basements. We only build basements typically where the uh, topography uh, warrants it and there's only a certain percentage of people that are interested in that anyway. But look at the at the backdrop. Now there'll be a couple of models up here. So time frame. First of all, what's a good number to call? Rather than call the builder, they should reach out to you at what number? They get me at 704-621-3070. That's 704-621-3070. Pretty exciting, Denise O'Farrell. Uh -huh. Love working with you. Uh, we can help people list and sell their homes in North and South Carolina in the greater Charlotte area. And if you're considering another North or South Carolina time, town, call me. I can refer you to an agent in uh, any of the great uh, towns in the Carolinas. So model homes will probably be right up here in front. They Should are. they go into a model home without a buyer agent? No, call me first. <laughs> I live down the road. I can be here in minutes. And you know the area, <laughs> exactly. And then right across the street, we see the Regency at Sugar Creek. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next go video. Go to RogerHollowayHomes.com.